Doppler 10 Chief Meteorologist Jerry March joining us now to talk about this weather and the haze that is just like, you know, ruining the skylines, it can't is. see anything. I was hoping for a little bit of a sunset. When I left the work last night, I yeah. saw about half of the moon, which was promising. The clouds and the smoke yeah. came back this morning and then this evening kind of a repeat performance. So I do think we're on track for improvement by this time tomorrow. I think we're not going to be talking as much, if anything, about the air quality. We're going to be shifting gears talking about the weekend and the possibility of storms, though. So. Always yeah. time to talk about it the weekend. Is, it is, oh, of course. But it's a four-day <laughs> weekend for a lot of people. Yeah. Saturday, oh, Sunday, Monday, good. Tuesday, right? So we're looking at the opportunity again for improving the weather forecast in one category, but the heat and the humidity return. Some spots getting close to 90 degrees by the time we roll out and get into your weekend, but we'll also be tracking the possibility of some stronger storms as well. So keeping that in mind as you're making your way through the forecast. Time lapse right now, you don't see a whole lot of difference except when night falls after 9 o'clock. Some of those lights kind of giving an eerie feel to downtown Columbus this evening, and that's pretty much what you're going to see in your backyard in your town as well, all the way over central Ohio. Temperatures are leveling off nicely in the 60s, a couple of degrees cooler than we were earlier today. So we're gradually going to cool things down a bit, ending up right around that dew point tomorrow morning at about 62. Winds will be light, so it'll be a calm start to the day. But if you had problems breathing today or if you had some trouble, you're going to have trouble tomorrow as well. As temperatures drop, that air is going to be kind of stagnant and Still, we're not going to see the winds really picking up until late tomorrow evening to kind of mix things up and improve the weather conditions. Now, going hour by hour into your Thursday, we are going to see a little bit of help coming in middle part of the day through early afternoon. A couple of scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder. Not a planned canceling sort of rain, but just the hint of things to come as we get toward the second half of the week. Notice a few more pop ups Thursday evening, but again, not widespread, not severe or strong storms. Now, let's get into Thursday into Friday, then looking at that all important weekend Friday morning starting off warm and humid and many locations on Friday have a good shot at hitting the 80s by lunchtime and on our way to near 90 in some spots by the afternoon and the evening. But we will see a couple of those showers and storms working back in later on Friday. Again, not a washout and some of the location and intensity of the storms is subject to a bit of change. Just be on the lookout and know that there might be some issues later Friday. I think the larger issues unfortunately come in time for our weekend. Weekend, Saturday morning, Saturday during the day, a lot of green showing up, tracking some storms. Coverage on Saturday will be spreading, as will the intensity of some of those storms, too, and that carries into at least Sunday morning. So of the weekend days, hopefully Sunday a little bit better, and I do think the chance of a thunderstorm decreases just in time for your 4th of July. Tomorrow, just a slight chance midday and later, high of 86. Heat and humidity and a few storms build Friday into Saturday. On Sunday, we'll see the rain early, hopefully clearing out later in the day. And what should be a light chance of a shower storm for the July 3rd and 4th. But we're going to keep this sticky weather around for the rest of your 10-day forecast.